yesterday we looked at Abraham. Today we want to take another look, uh, sorry, a look at another leader, Moses. And the Lord said to Moses, why cry out to me? Speak to the children of Israel to go forward. But lift your rod and stretch it forth over the sea. And it will divide and the children of Israel shall go through the midst of the sea on dry ground. When we read, don't just read it like that. Moses is the leader. How can you lead people? Pharaoh behind and he's devious, right? And in front of you is the sea. Where's the deliverance? Stretch your rod and the sea divided in two. That rod, that staff should remind us of our favorite Psalm 23. You are there with your rod and your staff to bring me comfort. You are at a place where, the, physically speaking, there is no, no chance of, escape, of escaping. The sea will engulf you, you will die. And Pharaoh is behind you, he is going to kill you in one minute. Stretch out your rod and you are protected. Your rod and your staff will, fo will, will, will fo not follow me. Your rod and your staff will protect me. So as we read this, we put it again. So we are playing here with sacred scripture. We are taking out the meaning, right? The Lord said to Moses, stretch forth your rod and the, Isra uh, the children of Israel will walk on dry ground, safe ground. I want the best for my people. So we want to heed the words of Almighty God. And when we are in a ugly place, a dark place, we say, Lord, where's that rod? Stretch that rod so that we can always walk on solid ground. Not only that, as we pass through, the water returns to its original state and the evil that was behind us is all burnt up and we are moving forward in a new direction. The evil is all in height, finished. Complete healing and holding, a complete healing and wholeness and the hand of the master.